Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So I'd like to make some blueberry cranberry muffins with you, okay? I have a box of muffin mix that we're going to use as our base and then we're going to doctor it up and uh, add a few things here or there to it, okay? Alright, so uh, follow me along, will you? I appreciate you hanging around and checking it out, okay? Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, share the video, uh, subscribe, and if you'd like to support this channel in any way, check out the links below and follow the prompts, okay? I can't wait to show you this. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, you can use any muffin mix you want to use. I'm using this brand but you don't have to use this brand. Any brand will do because we are not going to follow the complete directions. Okay? It's a can of uh, blueberries in this box but I have uh, some fresh blueberries that I'm going to use so I'm not going to use the can today. Okay so let's see. Let's put this in the bowl. package of blueberry mix in the bowl. Let me show you why this brand is actually good. The blueberries are not mixed in it. So you could really make this banana bread or any kind of uh, baked good you want to make it with because there's no fruit mixed in it, okay? Okay, so it calls for, and this brand is Krustaz, K-R-U-S-T-E-A-Z, okay? It calls for two-thirds cup of water. We're not using water, we're going to be using buttermilk, okay? Two-thirds cup. So here's my one-third cup measure. I'm going to do two of these. One-third. Two-thirds. Okay. All right, now it calls for one half cup of vegetable oil. Okay, we'll go with that one. One half cup of vegetable oil. So I'm using olive oil. Okay, and then it calls for two eggs. One. Two. Alright, so now I want to add to this some vanilla and I just threw my spoon over here and bring that back out. So I'm going to add, this is vanilla extract. I'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. 
one tablespoonful. Okay, so now that we've got that together, I have my mixer here. We're going to just mix that. is very very thick let me show you that let me show you see how thick that is how it doesn't even drop down fast because we added the buttermilk right so I need to maybe thin that out some so I think I want to use Okay, so this is a fourth cup measure. I'm going to use half. So I'm, I'm trying to teach you so that you, when you're at home, right, you can use your own judgments. Now you know that that's, if that's too thick, that that's not going to work well in terms of it rising. Okay, you don't want it to be heavy. So I'm going to add this half of a one-fourth cup of water. to thin that out. Well, that's a lot better. Let me show you. See how that rolls down pretty fast? That's what we want. Okay. Okay. Now, I have some muffin tins here. I have uh, two of them actually and so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little muffin mix in each one at the bottom not even halfway just a little and then we're going to put a layer of uh, the blueberries and then we're going to um, put a little drop more a layer of the cranberries and then some more on um, mix on the top to, ta ta to fill it up, okay? Okay, so let's try that. So I'm using a teaspoon to control how much I'm working with at a time. These tins aren't that big. Let me show you that. So you see what I'm doing, right? Very little in each one. Now we're going to do our blueberries. This is the blueberries. I'm just going to take and put a few there, here, there. Try to get it around the whole pan if you can. One second. Okay, so I'm putting just a little bit from a teaspoon I'm working with. Make sure you can see.
let me show you that. Okay. Now let's put some blueberries in there. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do a few at a time so that you can control how many go in. Okay. So let me show you that. Now we're going to put another teaspoonful in there, just a little. If some needs more than others, go ahead and handle that. Okay, now we have our cranberries. These are dry cranberries that I soaked in water to get them soft. Okay, now we're just going to put... Sure you can... No, you cannot see. That's better. my camera okay guys so here we go here's one and here's two so we're going to cook the two at the same time in the air fryer so I'll have one on the bottom And one about midways up. If I can get it in here. There we go. Let me see. I don't want that too close. Well, maybe I have to cook one at a time. Yeah, because they're going to rise. So, guys, I have to do one at a time. So we'll do that first one. And turn it on. We're going to have the temperature at 350. That's what you usually bake on. And let's take this down to 10 minutes. Okay. And we'll be back in 10. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 10 minutes is uh, coming to an end. Okay, let me show you. Now let me see if it's actually done. No, it is not. You see? When it's done, this knife would come out clean. It is not clean. So we're going to put that back in. Okay, so I'm going to set this for 
five minutes. Make sure that's on 350. Five minutes. Okay. We'll be back in five, guys. While we're waiting on the five minutes for our blueberry cranberry muffins to finish in the air fryer, let me give you the word of the day. So you've been really, really worried lately and troubled because of the infection that has plagued our nation nationwide. And you didn't know how ends was going to meet. You didn't know where your next uh, uh, financial help was coming from. You didn't even know if you were coming or going. You couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't do anything. So the only thing you could do was stay in the house and focus in on your financial dilemma. Well, guess what? A lot of us have had some help come along our way, whether it was unemployment or other people helping you or maybe someone gave you some words of uh, confidence so that you can know that you can make it out of this. Maybe somebody came by and prayed for you. Whatever worked to help you uh, to be in a better mood, to accept things a little better, to understand the, that this is not going to be forever. I want to say, good job. You handled it with ease. You handled it gracefully. You handled it without cracking up. You handled it without um, going over the edge. You managed stress. And stress did not manage you. So if I was to give this word of the, of the day a title, you have managed stress. And stress did not manage you. That's the word of the day. Okay. Okay. The blueberry cranberry muffins are out of the air fryer. And it did take, guys, um, I set it on 10 minutes and then I had to do another 5 minutes and another 5 minutes. So it took 20 minutes at 350 temperature, okay? Alright, so that's what they look like. Of course, the, uh, it's too hot for me to try because of the fruit in it. But you try yours, okay? And I'm going to cook the others, uh, the other 6 in the air fryer but you get the idea okay so it gave us a total of 12 out of one box when we added the blueberries and the uh, cranberries okay all right talk to you soon bye bye